Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to choose the new Luminar 2018, and it's amazing. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Sir Germany. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the beautiful, the crazy city of Paris, France, and I live in Los Angeles, California. Talking about Los Angeles, California, if you want to take some photos with me, I'm going to be doing my first workshop in Los Angeles. That's going to be starting on the 9th of February 2018. If you want to come with me, we're going to be shooting at the Griffiths Park, one of the most amazing parks with a great view of Los Angeles and downtown. We're going to go shoot in downtown Los Angeles. We are going to go to Venice Beach and Venice Canals, and we're going to finish by Malibu and Matador Beach, the most amazing beach and ocean view in Malibu and in Los Angeles County. It's going to be epic four days where we're going to do one-on-one. -on -one. It's limited to 20 people. I'm going to show you how we touch the photos that we took together on a big screen every day into a nice hotel. And then we're going to shoot together. We're going to look at the settings together. We're going to compose together. And I'm going to walk you through all your workflow until you can get better and better and better. I'm so excited to be with you, so come and check me out in Los Angeles. But now, I want to talk to you about Luminar 2018. This is a revolution, and here it is. All right, mesdames and messieurs, so what I'm about to show you, I think, is going to be a revolution in the world of post-processing. Because uh, Luminar, MacFun, which is now called Skylum, really is taking things to the next level. I'm here in Lightroom, and I have this file uh, which is a photo I shot in Central Park last week. I was hoping to get some nice foliage cover uh, and I came really at a specific date, but it was too early and there was no foliage. Apparently, it's a very bad year for foliage in New York area. Anyways, um, let's see if we can do some magic using Lightroom and Luminar. So first, I'm going to do my regular workflow. I'm going to open up the shadows and bring down the highlights. And I'm going to do my black and white to give it a good contrast. And I'm going to go to shade to add a bit of warmth to this, maybe add a bit of, of orange. Not too much, you know, but I, I want to warm things up, you know. And at this point, I think I'm just even going to lower the clarity a little bit. And I'm happy. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to export. And I'm going to choose the option of Luminar. Edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment. What that's going to do is take into account all I've done into Lightroom and get it over to Luminar. So I'm here now in Luminar and what I'm about to show you is really cool. The way Luminar works is a little bit of Aurora. If you don't know, you have different presets which you hear, basic, travel, outdoor. Uh, so you can either work with preset or you can work with layers and filters. It, it may seem a little bit complex at first, but you'll see it's pretty easy. Uh, let, uh, an example speaks a thousand words. Let me just, all I want to do on this one is add a filter first to add some foliage color. So I'm going to go to add filter and I'm going to take the brilliant and warmth filter. I'm going to click on it. And so you got, oh, I clicked it twice. I can, uh, I can erase one. So I'm going to boost the warmth and I'm going to boost the wildness until I start seeing some really yellow in the leaf. But now it changes the whole photo. I don't want it everywhere. So every filter that you use, you can use a mask. So I'm going to click on the brush and I'm going to click on brush again. And as I start brushing, you see by default, it's on paint. And by default, my mask is black here. But as I start to paint, uh, basically only where I'm painting is the warm color going to appear. So that's pretty cool because you can do masking on a layer all right i can go more crazy uh, so that the colors are really popping here you know um it's just you know a little revenge i really wanted to have some of these full colors i did not have them you know and i said okay you know what i'm going to try to do it in luminar i it, you know you know how you have a mix up of full color so that's that i'm happy with that and if you think it's too much you can you know lower the effect here make it more realistic, but that's kind of cool. And now I'm going to show you a filter that I think is crazy. I'm going to go to add filter and I'm going to go to the new, the amazing sun rays filter. Now this is going to be a revolution. When you put it on, you have some rays there and check this out. You can move the X 
And you see, they did a technology, look at this, I go behind this tree, where the rays are automatically masked be, be behind what's happening. I have never seen that in any software. I can do that in Photoshop, but it takes me a lot of time. And so you can go X, you can go Y, up and down, and it adapts exactly very naturally to how the, uh, the rays should be. This is a revolution, guys. Uh, I can tell you on Instagram, in the next weeks, you're going to see a lot of this sun rays coming up here. So I'm going to put the sun ray here in that hole there, uh, or maybe a little bit behind here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So let me show you the So you can amount, you can add a lot or less, you know, as you want. You can change the look of the sun rays, how they are in comparison to the rest. The numbers, a lot of sun rays, very little sun rays. Uh, the lens, that's that's a very one. The lens, small or big, warm or not warm. In that case, I want them a little warm. And then you got uh, the radius of the sun. So you see here, it's going to get brighter. I want to I like to fake that the sun was there. So I'm going to add some glow, and I'm going to get some radius and some glow amount so that it's really sticking out there. And maybe some warmth in the sky here. And now penetration is really cool. Check it out. Penetration is full or less, less and less and less. I think I'm going to use it about here and I'm going to make the lens a little smaller. And check this out. In a few seconds, I added the sun. And I've never seen any software do it with such a realistic feeling. Before, after. It's crazy. If you think it's too much, penetration is one of the most important ones. I'm just going to add a little bit here. And... Um, I'm going to add another filter. I'm going to add a dodge and burn filter. So add filter. And I love their dodge and burn filter. Here it is, dodge and burn. And I'm going to click on start painting. And all I want is I want to darken a little bit. I'm going to boost the size of my brush. I'm going to lower the strength of the, uh, of the, of the dodging here, of the darkening. I just want to make the bottom of that photo a little bit darker so that we have a bit of, um, you know, the attention of the year goes above here. Maybe also darken a bit here and darken a bit there. You know, so like a little vignette effect. And and voila. And check it out. That was the before. Oh, uh, let me click on done here. That was the before and after. Before, after. Okay, I can add another filter. I'm going to add uh, maybe how oh, there's so many, like uh, color balance, for example. Color balance filter. And I can change the color as I want. You see, in the shadows, I can add some blue or maybe, you know, or some warm. I can add some warm a little bit here in the shadows. I can add some magenta or some green or some yellow. I can do that to the mid-tones or in the highlights. I can add some warms. You know, whatever you feel like doing, it's pretty crazy before and after. And, uh, okay, I think on this one... I'm going to go and add another uh, tone filter, which I think, uh, or maybe just an exposure filter, where I just want to boost the exposure a little bit. Now, I think, you know what, I'm going to add a tone filter. Tone filters are really cool because you've got like a, a lot of uh, settings, you know, like, uh, so I can open up the shadows even more, although I did it already, you know, I can open up the shadows a little bit, and something like this. So... That's that's the uh, that's uh, let me show you the before and after. That's before straight off Lightroom, and that's how it looks now. And you know, it's completely non destructive, so I can you know, I can go here, I can change it. I mean, it's really cool. Let me show you another example. I'm gonna uh, basically apply this, and I'm gonna go back to Lightroom and show you another example on this photo. With Luminar, you can even do simple sky replacement. So this is a photo, let me reset the photo. This is a photo I shot in New York two days ago. I'm going to put up the shadows. Uh, on this one, I'm going to, because I'm going to change the sky using the multiply mode, I'm just going to open up the whites and the blacks. I'm going to boost the exposure. And I think I'm going to put it on shade to make it even warmer, add some magenta because I can, and maybe add a bit of clarity. Okay, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to right click, export, same thing. I'm going to click here. Use TIFF with low, uh, with Lightroom Adjuster in the new Aurora. Uh, no, sorry, Luminar. Here, ed edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustment. So it's going to launch Luminar now with this, while the other one is re-importing back. I mean Luminar, 
and uh, I'm going to go and add a sky. So I'm going to go here, and this time instead of doing it, uh, I'm going to add a layer. We haven't done that yet. I'm going to add a new image layer, and I'm going to take this sunset, click open, and this is a sunset that's going to go right over uh, this image. So this is a sky that I used, that I made. You see, I, I made a mirror of a sky I use a lot in my sky replacement. I will give you for free with this episode. And I'm just going to put it in the multiply mode. And boom, it's going to mix best. Of course, you can do that in Photoshop. But for people who don't have Photoshop or don't want to learn Photoshop, it's a really cool way. This is a very non-expensive plugin, and it does a great job. I can take the brush here. I can take a brush, and, be, and it's going to create a mask. And on this one, I can make... Uh, oh, actually, I want the reverse. You see, now I have a mask which is black and white. I actually want most of the sky to be there. So I can go to mask and I can invert the mask. Okay, and now I can click erase. So when I erase, I erase the mask. Remember that white, we see here, most of the mask is grayish and then black. So white or bright color reveals and dark color conceals. So up, I'm just going to erase the sky from here. And uh, I think I'm going to crop this image. You can go to Tools, Crop, because uh, I had some uh, some leaf. I didn't like that so much here. I'm going to keep it here. And voila. Uh, let me show you the before photo. That's the before, before, after. Just a little cool sky replacement. And while I'm there, I can add some filters. You know, I can add a whole new layer, add a new layer adjustment, and then I can use some of these presets that are really cool, like... Marco Polo, Impressive, Happy Memory, you know, Dull No More. Let's see, let's go to Basic. Uh, let's see what could be cool. Uh, image Enhancer, for example, that's a little too much. Or Details. Uh, detail is kind of cool, but it's too much. I don't like what it does on the sky, but I'm on a layer, so I can click on this brush, and I can just brush here. Uh, okay, I have to invert the mask again. And now I'm just brushing the details just for example on the front building which i think is kind of cool you know and not on the sky so i can add if i want i can add a filter but remember on this layer i did something uh, just for this window so i need to add a new adjustment layer and then i can add filter just on that layer so i can add a dramatic filter uh, which is uh, where is it dramatic filter and if you don't know you can just tap the name here drama and boom i have it right away dramatic and amount of dramatic filter. Yeah, it desaturates the photo, but I can add saturation. Check it out before and after. And if you don't like it, you can just throw it away. On this one, I'm going to add another filter that I really like, which is the um, uh, the image radiance filter. I think the image radiance filter is really cool. I can add, I like what it does. And I can add some brightness. Uh, I can open up the shadows on it if I want to. Take out saturation. I love image brightness, what it does. It gives like a little glow to the image. Okay, anyways, you can do whatever you want. This is the before, this is the after. This is going to be a revolution. There is a great offer uh, because it's the pre-orders now. If you buy it today from the link that's below this video, you'll get a special bonus and a special price. Check out all the links are below. You got to check out Luminar 2018. It's a must in your post-processing. It's going to take your photos to places you wouldn't expect. I, I just... I have been playing around with three, for three days now with it, and I can't believe how powerful it is for the price that it is.